everyone welcome back to my channel oh you're in my living room today you're in my in, on my couch I'm on my couch welcome back to my channel my name is Mishka if you don't know who I am this channel is a hair channel no, it's not really a hair channel I just started off this channel as a natural hair channel but i've always wanted to include a lifestyle so in today's video i'm gonna share some of my lifestyle with you guys um i've normally kept this channel a bit privacy you know i didn't include a lot i don't include a lot of my life on it but i want to share with you guys you know my accomplishments my ups and downs stuff like that and if you follow me on instagram you may or may not know that i have been on a healthy journey and during that healthy journey i was able to lose i think i lost like 21 22 pounds i started my healthy journey in like april and i was successful in losing some weight I am definitely definitely not close to where I'm close to where I need to be but it's still a lot okay now what I use to lose my weight Patrick how are you damn <laughs> So why I wanted to lose the weight and how I accumulated all that weight. Listen, um, sometimes you think you are not gaining weight and you look the same way you look since you were like in uh, college. But let's be real here. Your body changes so fast that you don't realize. You don't realize that you look different. Your clothes fit different. You just don't realize until until just one day you wake up and you look in the mirror and I don't know you just look different or someone points it out and that really hurts when people point it out but the reason why I had to lose the weight was because I was going through I had really really bad indigestion and I wasn't able to sleep at night and that was because of the things I was I was eating I wasn't able to climb stairs like a normal person I was like out of shape out of shape so badly um so the indigestion was so bad that I wasn't able to sleep at night I wasn't getting enough sleep even throughout the day I wasn't my best because I was always feeling sick and when I say indigestion I mean like it was a mixture of indigestion and a reflux so I always felt like my food was gonna come up back and then a burning sensation yeah heartburn all of that jazz and I couldn't take it inside like the whole day I was going through hell the whole night I was going through hell so I realized that I had to change my lifestyle and I also accumulated a lot of weight based on stress. If you have been on my channel for a while, I lost my mother this year. So my life has been going like up and down, up and down. It was super stressful. And in another video, I'm going to share with you guys the fact that I am an emotional eater. Yes, but let's not go into that. So I started to change my lifestyle. Um, from ever since I was the type of person who tried to eat healthy, tried. I love like looking for healthier versions of food, working out and stuff like that. I have no issue with that. I mean, I don't like it, but it's something that you have to include in your life. Overall, indigestion and bad reflux and heartburn and not feeling my best all the time and just not looking good that led me to really I had to catch myself real fast real fast because when I went on the scale let me tell you something so when I went on that scale I was almost hitting a hundred and ninety pounds so I had to catch myself real fast because 
I am my height is 5'2 and based on Google's BMI I was obese I mean the BMI still says I'm obese but whatever <laughs> I mean I care 190 no sir I couldn't manage listen being curvy nothing is wrong with being curvy because I've been curvy slightly curvy you know have um, bottom and everything all my life I have never been a skinny girl never uh, oh yes I've been a skinny girl when I was going to high school I look like a needle but you know when as you grow up you look different and stuff but yeah I had to catch myself real fast I was almost hitting 190 pounds and I could hardly breathe most of the time I could hardly breathe, I could hardly do nothing. My stomach was like drying me down. I could handle it, I could handle it. So I had to change my whole life, change my whole lifestyle because I wasn't looking my best when I was putting on clothes. I, did, I gave up even taking pictures on Instagram because I just look like a, uh, what I look like? Like one round tomato or something. Just, I, I just never look good. So I started in April. I started in April of 2019. To start my healthy journey and let me tell you it was not easy I tried I was trying so hard and nothing was working every time I would go on the scale nothing was working I was still I was still almost hitting 190 nothing was working and then one day one day um not one day, I always see intermittent fasting online and I was and I always said to myself, I would never do that. Like, who has time for that? I can't do that. But then my boyfriend persuaded me to like give it a try. And so I gave it a try. I started in April. April 2019. I started my intermittent fasting and I was successful successful on the journey intermittent fasting is not easy and if you don't know what intermittent fasting is you're gonna have to look it up because I can't really explain it because it took me a while to understand it I had to watch multiple videos um, read multiple articles on um, Google and that's how I was able to understand it it's literally starting your day of eating at a certain time so I would start my day of eating like 12 1 o'clock based on the time I would get based on the time I would get um, lunch at work and then you have a cutoff time during the evening when you have to stop eating so it's like you have a window of eating and you can only eat during those windows and I don't know how that working on but it helped me along with I can't say that's the only thing helped me along with exercising and eating healthy that helped me a lot so I was able to use the intermittent fasting because as I said before everything that I was doing was not working so one day I just gave up and I said listen to me me just I gotta stop eat I am gonna stop eating me not eat nothing more cuz it's like everything I put out my mouth me just blew up like a balloon so I just cut out a lot of um snacking because i love snacking i had to cut out that because that was not helping me so i cut out snacking i did intermittent fasting i was on um still on a low carb diet where i don't eat flour regular pasta um potato irish potato i was on a super low carb diet and I mix the intermittent fasting low carb dieting um, I cut out snacking I don't buy anything nice put in my house if I buy something nice it'd be like one or two things I buy put in the house and I would just 
slowly snack on those because if you buy too many nice snacks and put in your house listen to me you will be snacking the whole day because that was me i had to stop i had to catch myself with the snacking and one of the good things that i did because i used to research a lot online and they say that sometimes you think you're not eating a lot but if you take a pen and a paper and you write down the amount of things that you're eating uh, throughout the day you'll be shocked at the amount of things that you're eating it doesn't matter how small that thing is you are eating a lot and also I use calorie counting so I didn't like go in depth and count calories and stuff like that but I looked um, on the calorie intake of everything that I was eating. I tried not to go over uh, 1,200 calories or 1,000. So I tried not to consume over either between 1,000 and 1,200. I kept it below that. hundred and eighty seven pounds almost going to 190 and then no I'm in my 60s I'm a hundred and sixty something I'm a hundred and like 65 pounds so I lost a good amount of weight it's now um, September and I'm trying to it's not September Jesus Christ, it's October and uh, I am at the point where I have 25 more pounds that I want to get rid of. 25 more pounds. And I'm going to bring you guys on that journey with me. So if you want to see how I eat, how my lifestyle, how I operate in general, keep watching. Turn on, just subscribe to my channel. You know, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification, all of that jazz. Follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of meals over there, but I'm going to share meals with you guys, Um, what I eat in a day. If you're at my age and you're still eating fast food every day just because you think, oh, I'm skinny, I can't get fat. No, as soon as you reach this age, I think you have to really catch yourself and start to live a healthier and cleaner lifestyle. And a lot of people may say that you, if you stop intermittent fasting, you will eventually gain back the weight. And I feel like that is true and it's not true. It's based on how you do your intermittent fasting. If, you're do, if you do your intermittent fasting every day and you include, you just eat badly throughout the day, then as soon as you start doing regular cutting out intermittent fasting you're definitely going to lose um put on by the weight that's why when i do my intermittent fasting i ensure that i was still eating healthy so if i feel like today i don't want to do the intermittent fasting i was still able to keep off the weight so you can't just consume fast food between your window of eating and think that oh I will never put on the weight no one morning you you will wake up and you're just you see the scale like the scale you think the scale of mal malfunction but it's not you're putting back all that weight that you got off you're gonna put it on back I have a lot of videos coming out for you guys I hope you're gonna enjoy it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one